Is Old Forester a birthday bourbon? The best Old Forester on the market? We're about to find out. Let's get right on into it. What's going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new episode of Sample Wars. Today, none other than Kurt himself from SLB Basement Bourbon Bar has sent me a sample of Old Forester Birthday Bourbon, the 2020 edition. This is bottled at 105 proof, so we are putting it up against the bottles of Old Forester I have myself. We have an Old Forester Barrel Strength Single Barrel bottled at 126 proof. We have the Old Forester 1920 Prohibition style, that is 115 proof, and then we also have the Old Forester Old Fine Whiskey, which is the toasted barrel, barrel that 93 proof. So all four of these are at different proof points, and we might be able to tell the difference in the proofs, but this isn't a show on what one is the highest proof, it's a, the show of which one is the best. So without further ado, we have everything poured and labeled. As you guys might be aware, we are doing a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. We're giving away a bottle of Eagle Rare 10-year bourbon, so make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button down below. But let's get to spinning. And one more for good measure. All right, guys, you guys know the deal. We're going to go left to right, and I'm going to fast forward through the second go around, make these videos a little bit shorter for you guys, and to bring you guys what you want to know who came out on top. So, starting on our left. Very cherry forward. Wow, super cherry. Very, very, there. that is a very strong cherry. There's almost like a, it smells very thick. It smells creamy. It smells like vanilla ice cream almost. Like a cherry vanilla. Super, super rich. Very, very dark cherry forward. That vanilla is there. There's a little brown sugar. A little touch of a maple. Maybe a touch of like a marshmallow or something in there too. Really nice. Very, very heavy on the darkness of the fruits. Smells like, it's going to be a really, really weird analogy. But it smells like you're walking through like a forest at night. Like it's just that weird eerie and that's what I'm smelling in this glass. Let's get into the palate. Wow. That is thick and creamy. Wowza. That's really, really good. Wow. There is a vanilla bomb that just coats your tongue. It feels like it tastes and feels like melting vanilla ice cream. Really, really interesting. There's a lot going on in that glass. Almost like there's like some touches of like strawberries in there, like um, maybe like the dried strawberries that are in like a special case cereal or something like that. That's what I'm getting, like that strawberry note in there. That, that thickness, very, very viscous, really, really nice. Wow, that's really, really good. Let's move on to glass number two. Much brighter. There's um, like a blueberry wine note on that. Blueberry cobbler, there's like a touch of like a lemon uh, zest, almost like um, blueberries and lemons. It's like um, that lemon pie, a little oaky, not too oaky, but a little oaky. Wowza. There's a touch of that cherry in there too, but there's a lot more of that lemon and blueberry. A little oak, a little maple, might be a little bit more maple, maple syrupy. Really, really nice. This is really good. Let's get into the palate, guys. Sweet. Really, really sweet. Really, 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 really sweet. Maple syrup. There's a toastiness going on. There's a marshmallowness. There's a touch of a strawberry. More like a darker cherry, though. Really nice. A little medicinal on that cherry note. But let's move on to glass number three. There's a lot going on in that glass, too. There's more of like an orange cherry. There's a little bit of oak. A little pine needle in there. It smells fantastic. Almost like a dark chocolate, like a dried, shaved dark chocolate with a little bit of a caramel drizzle. Mm, mm, mm. A little bit of cinnamon. A little bit of that like uh, baking spice going on in there. Really, really nice. A touch of like a pepper note. Smells good. Skin to the palate. This one's hot. It's one of the higher proof ones for sure. But it's not like knock your socks off. That burn hits you initially, but then that fades. The finish is really, really nice. You got a lot of vanilla. There's a lot of maple syrup. There's a touch of like a pumpkin spice almost. Like I'm getting that sweet but spicy going on. 
Really, really nice. Touch of that vanilla extract. A little bit of that vanilla ice cream is in there as well. They like coat your tongue, fades nice and slow, waits for your saliva to get rid of it. Really, really nice on that palette there on this one as well. It's like a cheesecake with that strawberry, like that fake strawberry or cherry, whatever the uh, topping is that they put on there. That's very, very strong in here. But it does have that like cheesecake quality too. Tastes a little, uh, taste has that like cheesecake flavor. New York style cheesecake. That's really nice. But uh, well, that's number four, guys. So different. All four of these had very, very different noses, but they were similar in some aspects. Like all four of these had a little bit of a cherry note. But after that, it's gone. This one here is more like a uh, birthday cake nose. Getting a touch of an orange zest. There's a little bit of a strawberryness. The cherries in there, but the cherry's not as strong. The strawberry and orange zest come out a lot more on this glass. Really pleasant. Not my favorite nose out of the four. I think number one and three were my favorite. And one and two on the palate were my favorite. This smells fantastic. That's good. It's not my favorite. It's a little bit darker, has a little bit of a plum note in there that fades off into like a raisin or like an over ripened grape, like one of those softer grapes where it's like, it's mushy. Doesn't have that snap that a grape usually has. That's what I'm getting on the note. The That's what I'm getting on the palate here. So got a little bit of oak, dries the mouth out a little bit. Not as viscous as I think one and three were. Palette is nice, but not my favorite. So I think that this one at the moment is in last place. Yeah, that one is in last place at the moment, but all four of these are fantastic. But you guys know the deal. I'm gonna cleanse my palette, go through these one more time, and we're gonna see which one comes out on top. Be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, we are back. And we're gonna fast forward real quick, and we're gonna, so you guys can find out who came out on top in this old Forester battle. All right, guys, we've got the lineup, and we're about to see this Old Forester birthday bourbon 2020, the best Old Forester on the market right now that I know of. So let's find out. Glass number four, in fourth place, goes to Old Forester 1920 Prohibition style. I absolutely love this bottle. I know it's a little bit more on the expensive side, but if you want to make a fantastic old fashioned, I absolutely love mixing with this Old Forester 1920. It is on that 50 to $60 mark. But if you don't mind that and you want a darn good old fashioned, that bad boy right there is the way to go. Third place goes to Old Forester 1910 Old Fine Whiskey. Again, Another one that makes a fantastic cocktail, but I honestly prefer this one, I think, over the 1920. As you can see, I'm getting low on both of my bottles. I gotta replenish both of these soon, but they're both fantastic. Let's find out who came in second place. Second place goes to the Old Forester Single Barrel, which means our winner of the best Old Forester on the market that I know about goes to the Old Forester Birthday Bourbon 2020. Kurt, you are killing it with these samples, man. A lot of your samples are coming in first. I don't know if you did something to this juice or if it's just the creators of the juice, but this juice that you sent me is darn good. Guys, I can't thank you enough for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let me know out of these four if you have a single barrel barrel strength or one of the birthday bourbons if they would come out on top on one of your blind tastings the birthday bourbon came out on top for me in the second place with the single barrel barrel strength but until next time this has been nathan with the everyday drinker cheers